How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be returning to a job where we found some low volt wiring issues and it was in the existing walls and everything to where we can't get to it. So we're gonna go back with a wireless thermostat setup and get them all taken care of. Let's do some work. This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. And by RLS. RLS press fittings let you make a permanent and reliable mechanical connection in just 10 seconds without the need for brazing. The RLS press fittings were specifically designed and engineered for use in high pressure HVAC and refrigeration systems. They are fully registered and listed to UL207 for pressures up to 700 PSI. For more information, go to rapidlockingsystem.com. All right, before we do that, I wanna give you guys an update on the shop. We just got the floors done, and man, it is looking good. I uh, just recently got all the lights installed. There's actually um, three more on this side as well, so there's a total of six of these LED lights, and man, are they bright. I'll definitely show you that in a different video. But as you can tell, again, the flooring is done. I'm not finished running two by fours around the banding there, I guess is what it's called. So that way we can install the uh, plywood walls. It'll go, uh, it should go all the way up to that point there. And then once the plywood is up, we're gonna get everything painted, ceiling, trusses, walls. It's all gonna be a white color. So it's gonna be super bright and really nice and clean in here. Pretty excited about that. So the problem with going with one of these, if the thermostat is red link compatible, that's like a Bluetooth going to the equipment. It's not gonna be Wi-Fi enabled as well. And we do need a thermostat that is Wi-Fi capable for this customer. So we might have to get what's called a gateway. And it's basically it takes that red link communication and connects it to the internet. So see if they got one somewhere. All right, so what I chose to go with was the April Air. This is the 8910W. So we actually have um, a few wires available that we can use on the job site. So, because this customer needs um, Wi-Fi, because it's a, a rental property, like an Airbnb, so they want to be able to control it remotely. Um, but we need a system that can only utilize a few wires. So this is a two-part, three-wire design. So three wires from the thermostat to this controller that we would mount at the air handler. And then you just wire up everything uh, as far as the equipment goes. And then this connects directly to the wireless router to give them Wi-Fi capabilities with the app. Um, so this takes care of everything. If we went with the Honeywell version uh, to get it to be wireless, it has to be red link. And if it's red link, it can't be Wi-Fi unless you use one of those gateways, um, which would have worked fine, but they only had, um, I think the, um, like the Focus 5000 thermostat, which is limited on its functionality compared to what this can do. And then you also have a separate uh, device that you have to hardwire into the router. So anyway, I think this is gonna work out a lot better. Um, not only that, it kind of future proofs the customer if they ever wanna add humidifiers, dehumidifiers, um, whatever, the, whatever they want when it comes to indoor air quality, because that's where this thing shines. All right, so here's the system that we're working on. We can uh, probably mount the module here so we can actually see it but um yep we're gonna go ahead and get everything unwired and put in a new thermostat down the hall get everything uh, checked out all right so i got everything pretty much cleaned up mounted the module up here as you can see 
So now everything's a lot nice and clean when it comes to the low volt wiring. Um, nice and simple. So thermostat is already mounted. We're gonna go ahead and go up to the condenser now and verify the wiring is correct up there because I'm pretty sure uh, they did not have the um, the W2 wire coming back for to turn it on the electric heat whenever it goes into defrost mode. So I'm gonna go up there and make sure that's connected and just make sure all the wiring color coding wise is gonna be good to go. And we'll go ahead and get this thing fired up and get it all tested. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like they did not hook up the electric heat for whatever reason. So we just need to hook up the white wire. That'll send a 24 volt signal downstairs to turn on the electric heat whenever we are in defrost mode. And uh, we should be ready to get this thing started up. I wonder where the uh, Formula One racing was. It was like if it went over that bridge. Should do it. I'll do five minutes. We'll let this run for a little bit, cool the house down, and then we'll switch it over and check the heat. All right, so that pretty much completes this call for today. Um, we got the low volt wiring all clean up, looking a lot better. Um, luckily, we're able to save three wires out of that cable coming from the thermostat to where we could power up this new uh, thermostat setup with that control module. I think it turned out really nice. Everything's really um, in a good spot for servicing and knowing right away what's calling and what's not. Um, so anyhow, we got everything installed. We turned everything on, tested it all out, ran sure, made sure everything ran, the fan, the electric heat, um, the standard heat, the cooling, everything. And it turned on, shut off, and did exactly what it was supposed to do. So we're in good shape. I feel really good about this. Um, also checking that condenser, making sure everything was wired up properly up there. But um, yeah, I think this job is done. Everything is looking good. Customers are gonna be happy. They have a new thermostat which they can hook up to their Wi-Fi as well, be able to contr control that remotely. But that's gonna complete today's video. I really hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!